So after suffering a uh, setback involving the receiver, which failed, I pulled the receiver out from under the board and took off a trace. I don't even see that. Took off a trace from the board. The receiver was faulty, as you know, I was on off, on off, on off. Finally, now, another receiver work bound first time, but as you can see, pad removed. Um, came with it, and I thought, oh shit. So, sold the sucker. And tip solder on. Heat it up. Also, what helps? A magnifying glass and clean up the fads and I don't know if you can see that mm, this camera is such a nightmare but you'll pick up the trace and there's a bit of Heath Robinson but I'm trying to do this through a magnifying glass I put a needle on the trace on another board there so hopefully that's a quite high magnification, you can see where it would be. And all you need to do is scrape a little bit off if it's not exposed, a tiny little bit. And when you put the pin that I showed you on, the solder should flow into that trace and make good the connection. That pad only ends up in that trace anyway, so <clears throat> that's how it should work. So I've bent them up like that and cut them off at the bottom, but the way is now, instead of relying on one, it's relying on six, so it should be a lot stronger. Okay, so I've soldered on pins like that. Really ropey on the first pin. Just trying to pick up the trace. Need to reinforce it. I've done the back pins too. Let's see, you'll see. After doing that, you probably want to just hot glue it up. Don't cover up the any important bits on the board, but just hot glue as much as you can. So you got not only the pads of six to one. Excuse me, a little bit drunk. Holding it down, but also hot glue it. So you're spreading the force out the boards. There we go. Let's show you all that can be done. And this round. So that was a board that was going to get thrown away last night in my filthy frustration against. Let's just.